Okay, hi everybody. Um, first off, an apology really. I've not had much time to sort of do any YouTube videos lately. Um, first off, Luna had a routine operation and became very, very ill afterwards. Um, as you can see, she's quite well now. And then it was my 30th birthday and that kind of dragged out for like two weeks and got a bit crazy. And then last week it was the Practical Astronomy Show here in the UK which was pretty good. Um, it's I've never been to an astro show before and it was the first time they'd done it and I heard a lot of good reviews and I think they'll be doing it again. Um, so the main focus of this video is I'm going to fit a pole, I'm going to first unbox the pole master that I brought at the Practical Astronomy Show and then I'm going to fit it to my HEQ5 mount. Now because a lot of people bought equipment last week at the show the weather is pretty awful so I dare say there'll be a part two to this video where I get first light with the pole master and I might compare it against sharp cap etc. So without further ado I'll get on to unboxing the pole master. Okay, so this is the pole master and this is the associated adapter for the HEQ5 mount. I don't know if you can see, it says on the box there, no, HEQ5, oh no, that's not going to focus, but okay, but take my word for it, so it's HEQ5. So I brought this from the Practical Astronomy show last week and I brought it from 365 Astronomy. I'd already spoken to them prior to the show and said, can you bring along a pole master? Traditionally, I've always used sharp cap and it's um, gotten me some great results with my polar alignment. But I always said if I ever had a bit of extra spare cash, then I'd love to have a pole master just for convenience and because everybody raves about them. So I had a bit of birthday money and I was like, do you know what? Why not? I'm going to treat myself to one of these. So if you've ever had a QHY camera before you'll notice they tend to come in these little tins just with different lids. Um, this one you definitely know what it is. And the Pole Master itself I think is based on a QHY5 camera. I've, also, I've already had one of these so I generally know what to expect but we shall see. So, if we open the box, piece of foam. Um, standard in any QEHY camera is a card telling you to download drivers, read the manual, check frequently asked questions, and if you need any support, there's an address to go to. It's important to definitely download the drivers first. So, now we can actually get eyes on the pole master. So inside the box we've got a pole master unit, a USB cable which has um, sort of fixing screws on the end. A bag with three screws and what looks like a sort of little sort of lanyard to fit onto the cap of the pole master. So if we unscrew that now. You can see it is literally just a QHY5 camera with a you can even if you you can't see on this video, just inside this rim you can see that it says CCTV lens. It's quite a weighty little unit, not too heavy though, it's not going to break your back. <laughs> and it's got a nice shiny green trim. Now for me, my HGQ5 has the green trim itself, so this will be a nice addition. Well, it would have been until I saw the colour of the adapter. 
Has nobody ever told people at QHY that red and green should never be seen? And it appears that the adapter for the HEQ5, so inside the box you've got two metal pieces and that should fit in the telescope and an allen key. Oh and I forgot to mention there's an allen key in in this little bag also. So it's not a lot of green but the, I'm not sure about this red adapter going on my green mount. I've got a bit of a thing about it looking like a Christmas tree but we'll see. So I'm going to move on to now fitting it onto the mount. Now I haven't read any instructions about how to do this. I'm literally just going to go for it and see what happens. Because if I can do it without reading instructions then that means it's super super easy. <laughs> okay so this is my HEQ5 mount and here's with the green trim as I mentioned. And this is the polar scope. And this is where I need to fit the pole master to. So I'm guessing So this bit came in two parts and basically I just loosened off that thumb screw. And I'm guessing that screws to the pole master with three screws that are in the box. That seems to fit nicely. So now I'm just going to tighten up the grub screws that are inside. It's a little bit fiddly, but it's not too bad. It just looks like there's two screws in there to do. That's pretty solid now. Yeah, that's not going to move. So, <clears throat> I'm guessing if you don't actually want the pole master on there for some reason, you can then just cover up with that cap. I'm actually now going to put the pole master and I intend to just leave it on there once I've fitted it. So this next bit I actually did on camera, off camera sorry, because I was dead scared about dropping the pole master. So the three screws out of the pole master box I used it to, there are three extra screw holes on the pole master itself and I screwed the backing plate of the adapter onto the pole master. Now I have to say thank you to Naomi at the moment because it was my birthday and one of the things she did for me for my birthday was to get me 30 gifts, small, 30 small gifts because it was my 30th and one of them was this little awesome sort of screwdriver set. Um, it's got little tips and you Sort of screw them into the cap here but yeah that's just some thanks there so now that's all screwed on to the pole master I can now mount this on the HEQ5 so I'm just going to screw that there and I heard somebody say that the cable should always be on the left so I'm not sure if it's the left looking at it or the left um, sort of standing behind the mount but 
I'm sure somebody in the comments will correct me if I've done it wrong. <laughs> you can just see the dog yawning behind me. <laughs> she finds astronomy very, very interesting, as you can tell. Um, so let me just find my little screwdriver to fit. I'm just going to tighten these screws just a touch here as well. Let me sand that off a little bit. And tighten up the other side as well. There we go. So That's pretty solid. I can always rotate it around if I need to. And there we go. So one of the things that came in the box was that little lanyard to sort of save this cap if you drop it on the floor or go to drop it on the floor. So It's just got a little screw fit in and it just sort of screws into the end of the cap. And I'll find a way to attach that to the adapter itself maybe. We'll just leave it hanging for now. And finally, and there we go one fitted pole master. Okay, so that's all done now. I just briefly looked at why the cable should be on the left and it should actually be on the left. If you're in the northern hemisphere, have it on the left when you're looking at the mound and that's because um, it does an atmospheric correction um, to help you to help the results be more accurate. If you were in the south, the southern hemisphere, you would have the cable pointing to the right when looking at it. So that's the end of part one. It might be a while till we get to part two, depending on the weather. Um, as always, thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll get some more videos up soon. Bye for now.